Hey Cares, just Joel with a land knife and I'm back with another five minute review. This time we are doing the Finch model 1934. So there's three options for this. There is the Crawdad Jigged Bone, the Ghost Green, which has Jewel Jade G10 handles, and there's also a Burlwood one, which of course has Burlwood handles. So this knife is seven inches overall with a three inch 154 cm steel stainless blade which is very wide for something that comes from Finch. I don't know if you can tell, but it, it's pretty wide. It's probably, I want to say, 0 0.110 inches thick. I do like the, the width of it, or the height, whatever you want to call it. So this is a clip point style blade. It's got flat grind, plain edge, no jimping, but that's okay. Because it opens. Whew. I can forgive the no jumping, how, how great it opens. You can also deploy the blade not just with the jimp flipper stud. Look at that. Look at all the jimping. See? Can you hear that? Yeah, I know. I had to put it in the microphone just so you could hear it. Lots of jimping on the flipper stud, and you can open it with a nail nick, which only one side this time. So you're not going to be able to open it like that because it doesn't have a nail neck on this side. They did that on one of his other knives. I can't remember. I think it was the Harvester possibly that had the dual sided nail neck, which I thought was interesting. This one has also the stainless like brushed satin uh, bolsters and butt here. It's on both sides, just like the jigged bone crawdad handle scales has got it on both sides. There's also a tip-up titanium gray pocket clip. It's probably more of a frame lock, bolster lock deal, but it does have stainless liners. As most finches, it comes with its own set of stickers. I like this one. This is probably my second or third favorite sticker that they've released. Every time they do a new model, they have a new personalized sticker for it. So it's probably my second favorite. My first one's probably the Cherry Bomb sticker because it just looks super awesome. Then you also got the Flip and the Finch sticker and a Band-Aid, which I think is a pretty good joke. They also come with a box. This is the new design box they had, so just so you can see what you'll be getting. Operates on a ball bearing pivot system designed in Stillwell, Kansas by Spencer Mark. Cordat, I'm guessing some type of French name, and I have not taken French ever, so. And Steve Laughlin. They're the co-owners, or owners, of Finch. So, they design all their knives. It's nicknamed the Smokies, because of the magical blue haze that canopies the range. And that is what this knife is modeled after, especially the sticker. Smokies really, you know... The idea of like a great landscape, tradition, it does have the jig bone, which is a very traditional pocket knife handle scale pick. Shrey did it a lot, and then a couple other popular older brands. Overall, this is a great knife. I mean, I never have anything bad to say about Finch because all of his knives open well, they operate well, they cut well. 154cm steel is always high quality. I'm not crazy about this version of this knife because I don't really care for jig bone. I'm probably more of the, the ghost green Jewel, Chen, Jewel JG10 handle. Or maybe the, the Burlwood. The Burlwood always looks good on Finch knives. He's done it on a few different models, like the Roadrunner. And I want to say... the Not the Lucky 13. There was an older model that he did on, like the 1929. And it just looks more my style. Okay, so overall I'll give it an A. So this was the Finch Model 1934. I'm just Jewel with a Landed Knife, and I am signing off.